Hi guys and welcome to my 15th Excel beginner tutorial and this tutorial is going to go into how to merge cells um, and how to uh, reference those merged cells with formulas. So what is a merged cell? Well a merged cell is when you highlight a group of cells, go to format cells and go on to merge cells. Um, and what this does is it makes one big cell um, out of all the uh, little cells and then what you can do is say let's say make a comments box um, and make it really big um, rather than quite small so it's quite handy um, I generally don't use them because they're a little bit awkward to work with um, and um, they can cause you problems sometimes but generally um, for simple spreadsheets they're really useful just to give you something really quick um, and quite tidy um, so uh, when typing in this so let's say we write a sentence so this is a merge set of cells um, and what you quite often want to do in merge cells is is enter down a line but obviously if you press enter then you go into the next cell um, and you can get around this luckily by pressing alt and enter um, and then this is some text that has been tabs down um, and you notice that then you get a little bit of space in between because you've used the alt enter. Um, I've pressed it twice to go down to like that. Um, and then this is how you can fit in bullet points because um, it doesn't have its own bullet point thinking in itself um, for some very good reasons. Um, and then so this is some bullet pointed text. Um, and I put equals at the start so it doesn't like that. Um, and it's putting equals again. Um, so you don't put the dash at the start. Um, but yeah, so that's how you merge cells and how you can use it. Um, let's say we're using this to put in your name, uh, Matthew Sands. Um, probably shouldn't have given you all my full name, um, and then probably shouldn't have uh, said that that was my actual name, um, and should have pretended it was a pretend name. But Oh well, now now you all know that's my name. Um, uh, hopefully none of you will uh, use that for anything. Um, <laughs> and so th then, say we want to take what they've entered in there, and we want to do our proper and trimming and, and what have you. So in order to reference that cell equals, and then we go well. This isn't just one cell. This is a whole range of cells. So how am I going to reference this? Uh, well, the trick is you just reference the top left-hand corner, and then that'll pick up whatever's in the whole of the merge cell. So, boom, there we go. Um, and you can do formulas on that as you would. Um, and um, there you go. So we've propped it, we've trimmed it, um, and taken the value from the merge cell. You find people use these quite a lot, um, and the pe people generally misuse them. Um, so some of the key things are don't merge cells in data tables like this. That's just asking for trouble. Stops your auto filter and stops your sorting, um, and it's just generally painful when you whenever you want to do anything. Um, comments box is all right. Uh, input boxes is kind of okay. Um, anything where there's going to be a huge amount of text is all right, but just do not use it in data columns like this. Just keep this as that as it is, um, and don't try and start using it with uh, all the grouping and stuff as well. It's it, it's it's asking for trouble. So anyway, that's the end of the beginner tutorials. Um, I'll be coming soon with some intermediate tutorials that will go into how to. Uh, use the graph feature, um, how to use some more complex formulas like lookups and if statements um, and a couple of other things as well. So thank you for listening and I hope to catch you soon.